Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna paint this shallow water here. Yeah, we start by mixing the color for the um, base layer of the water. Kind of a greenish, yeah, bit grayish color. And then we oil out the painting surface and apply the this yeah greenish grayish color here. We let it dry and then we grab some yeah detail brushes, more or less, and. Yeah, mix some other set of colors and start to add those um, yeah, those little rocks, not those details um, that we see because of the water being very shallow. Yeah, and make sure that you yeah, make it soft, um, put in those details, but also make them very a bit covered by the water, not that crisp. Yeah, and then we. Let it try and start to build up the splashing yeah, little wave on the right side. Yeah, we have here basically three colors. Um, this grayish color, this bluish color, and this, this white one. And we also, this may sound a bit stupid, a bit weird, have a lot of other different colors that we're using here because we yeah, basically um, dry brush the color on and we use background color to shift and change the color that we apply so that we have very big variety of um, different colors that we are using here. It may look at the moment very very off, <laughs> I know, but yeah, stay tuned and watch my painting and you will yeah, basically see how I build up those reflections here. And that's what I do here now, this bluish color. Again using this um, underpainting, kind of a base layer to yeah, get this bluish color yeah, fading into this um, background color. And yeah, water is highly reflective, therefore I'm adding those um, very fine reflections here, here and there. Yeah, see it basically as a shape that you need to form. And the part that is looking towards the viewer um, is the part where we need to put on those very fine, crisp um, white reflections here. They're basically pure, really pure titanium white. And therefore, I really start to pop and really yeah, get in this, this wet character of the water. Also make sure that you follow the line of the water, the shape that you want to communicate with this bluish color here. Um, the reflection basically follows the, yeah, the line of the water. Um, yeah, we have those waves, more or less, and <clears throat> yeah, you can basically give give them give those waves um, shape by adding this bluish color on these areas where we have the, the most reflections, and yeah, we also have very fine little bubbles coming up here and there. They also need those very fine reflections here, those. Yeah, kind of highlights, more or less. We also have very, very darkish bluish colors for the the water parts that basically are in the shadow areas. Yeah, and I really think that yeah, one of the keys here is really to to get in those very crisp, very fine reflections. Um, also. The reflections that we have from the white water bouncing off the, the waves more or less, they also need to be there to yeah to make the water more like a mirror, more or less. Yeah, also make sure make sure that you um, get in those waves, those ripples, in all kinds of various shapes and sizes. As you can see here, we are getting smaller, a lot smaller. 
Um, but again, following the baseline of the water, the direction more or less. And also very important is that you soften down those um, areas. So here I'm slaving on the color, very sloppy, more or less. Again, some other variation of those reflections here. Then I yeah, soften them down so that we don't have any hard or sweet edges. Then I go back and yeah, add some more lighter tones to these waves. Adding some highlights here and there and yeah, working on the upper part now. You see we have a ton of variation of sizes, of shapes, of um, color variations going lighter here and there. But it's all yeah, more or less following the, the base rule for um, giving shape to the water, more or less, by painting those reflections that we have on the water itself. I mean, yeah, the most interesting part, of course, is the, 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 the little breaking wave that we have here, more or less. And yeah, there we have the brightest colors where the light is yeah, bouncing off the most, more or less. And I think it starts now really to look 3D and become really water that, that's moving, water that has reflections, water that has, yeah, again here, note these other small reflections here. And this all sums up, and when you don't know um, how to paint water, then you don't know what to put in and don't know what, what makes water really yeah, look like water. And I, I think these um, small, very crisp reflections here make really all the difference. Um, we have some of those um, very soft down, the big one here in the center, but yeah, most of the others are very, very fine, very small, very crisp, and they really they make it look realistic. And then I go back and rework areas of the white water in front of the wave. It was not yet really um, yeah, white watery enough. <laughs> Sounds a bit stu stupid, but uh, that's more or less um, needed to make it look even more realistic. And then I'll go back and add some smaller reflections here and there. Again, make them soft in areas. <clears throat> yeah, and you also see that we have on top part areas where we have very big areas where we have no um, details. And these are basically um, oh man. And these are basically um, reflections. Uh, these are basically waves that we have here um, coming in that don't have any um, um, really details to them, more or less. And then I'll go back and um, add those um, stone details, as you've seen before. They are not yet really, um, they, they were not enough, more or less, and therefore I go back and add some more of them. Some brownish colors, some, some lighter ones, some yeah, details here and there, and yeah, they make the water shallow in, in, in those areas, more or less. And yeah, that's um, how you paint, more or less, um, shallow water. Also make sure that they are not um, um, too crisp, those details. They have a layer of water over them. And they, yeah, they should be everywhere where we have those windows, more or less. Those areas where we have um, no reflection from the from the sky and from the sun. Yeah, we finished.
So, that's it for today, but before you leave, please make sure you check out one of these other two videos here.